summarize my job as CEO and doing three things, you know, setting the vision, allocating resources, and hiring and retaining a team. And that third one, hiring and retaining a team, is probably the single most important one, uh, the single hardest one, and the one that I relatively spend the least amount of time on, mm-hmm. given its importance. Mm-hmm. 25% of my time is spent on recruiting. And how much do you think it should be? I mean, if I'm doing a great job, probably, I mean, it depends on how mm-hmm. fast you're growing, but today it should probably be over 50 especially as you're growing, there's only so much you can do. If you're looking to build your core team or you're looking to make a key hire, like those people are not interviewing for jobs. You just have to go out there and you're, you're selling them. I think at the top of almost any profession, but certainly um, uh, as a CEO, the majority of your job is selling, selling your company to investors, selling your vision, selling to partners, um, but selling to, to talent, convincing the best people in the world who have no business coming in and working for you to do this job. If there's anything I've done well, it's make sure that I've hired people that are smarter than me in every job they have. My COO, is, she, she's smarter than me in everything she does. I could never do what she does. And that's true of every... Um, executive on our team. They're just way better than I could ever hope to be at that thing. That's what makes the difference. It's not just going to happen, right? Because these people are being pursued by everybody else. Uh, And so you have to ask yourself, well, why are they going to come work for me? Um, So you have to be really humble and work really, really hard. Show them that you care. Um, And that's why it demands so much time and attention. But that's what makes the difference.